New trouble for celebrity chef Paula Dean. She lost her TV show on Friday. Now key sponsors are looking at their options. The news comes after Dean admitted using racial slurs in the past. Don Daler is with us. Don, good morning. Good morning, Nora. Her startling admissions came during a deposition in a lawsuit filed against her by a former employee. After they surfaced, the Food Network said it was cutting ties with Paula Dean. And now the question her fans and her advertisers are asking is who's next? For Paula Dean, it's out of the frying pan and into the fire. Oh, look, these look so good. The Food Network launched her into superstardom in 1999. So when it dumps Dean at the end of the month, the linchpin of her culinary empire will also disappear. We roughly saw that she was bringing in a revenue that was related to the Food Network and everything close to about 11 million, 11.5 million. Other sponsors also distanced themselves. QVC and Kmart, which sells Dean's cookware and books, both said they were reviewing their options. QVC added, we have no immediate plans to have her appear on QVC. I can see my cream cheese squirting out of that one right there. And Kraft, maker of Philadelphia cream cheese, told CBS this morning it hadn't worked with Dean since early 2012 and we don't have a current relationship with her. It's almost like a uh, blood in the water uh, with a shark and the other advertisers now are going to begin panicking because this story is not going away. On Friday, Dean had tried to keep things from bubbling over by issuing not one. I want to apologize to everybody uh, for the wrong that I've done. I want to learn and grow from this. Not two. Uh, the pain has been tremendous that I have caused to myself and to others. But three apologies for using the N-word some 30 years ago. The last 48 hours have been very, very hard. Diabetes drug maker Novo Nordisk said Dean would continue to serve as a spokeswoman. Smithfield Foods, a longtime Dean sponsor. Just look for that ham in that pretty blue package with my picture on it. Did not respond to requests for comment. And many of her fans said the queen of southern cuisine deserved to be forgiven. I think it's a learning lesson for her, and it's a learning lesson for the people that do forgive. So I, I will forgive her. The Food Network's decision has caused a backlash of its own. Many of her angry fans flooded its Facebook page with comments like, please bring Paula Dean back, and I will no longer watch the Food Network because of the unjust treatment of Paula.